Okay, first up, lot A, five books, issue two, three, four, five, six. There's a grade eight, the grade range from eight to nine, nine, two. Asking price, five books for $120, okay? You know the rule, first claim, first email, first claim. Win the books, issue two, I'll give it an eight. None of these books are from the Savannah pedigree, okay? I will let you know when or if a book is Savannah ped pedigree because these are not, as you can see, page quality of white to white. Back cover. Clean. None of these books have been pressed or clean, okay? Issue 3. Give it an 8, 8.5. Really nice. Okay, as you can see a lot of, not a lot, but a couple of dents here and there. Very sharp. Page quality, once again, off white to white, so. Issue 4, I give an 8.5. Issue 5, the nicest one of this lot, beautiful. Okay, got a couple spine takes. Okay, not much, but it's there. Issue 6, last one for this lot. Give it an 8.5. And that's lot A for you. Once again, page quality, poly off white to white. Okay. Next up, lot B. Issue 7, 8, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Nicer, slightly nicer, higher grade. It's a 9.4 in there. Asking price, five books. $130. Here's, here's issue 7. Couple spine takes. Okay, nothing major. But that's why it's an 8.5. Okay. A little bit uh, overhang. Indentation here and there. Once again, good page quality. Issue 8, I give it 9.4. This book is sharp. Can it be a 9.6? Maybe. Heck, if it's a 9.6, it'd probably pay for the whole lot. <laughs> Does it matter? No. I'm fine. Grading it is a 9.4. Beautiful book, as you can see, nice and white back cover. Really nice page interior, of white to white. Once again, the only book this time it, that is Savannah Pedigree is issue 12. Okay, that's the start of the Savannah Pedigree book. So, here's issue 10. Back cover. Issue 11, 9-2. Gorgeous book. Yeah. There you go. PQ, as you can see, off white to white. Nothing, nothing to be afraid of. Okay. Back cover. Here goes the first Savannah book. You know, when I talk in the sales preview video, I mentioned that, you know, the Savannah Pedigree, 
have a tendency of being cream, tan, yellow. But luckily, many of these books are pretty decent. So let me show you. This one I gave an 8.5. There, there, there you go. Remember, I mentioned a, little, a light sun shadow. Okay, there you go. Okay, it's a light sun shadow on the right edge as well. Barely there, but it's there. That's why I gave it an 8.5. Okay. Can it be higher? Sure, but decent book, as you can see. Let's see the page quality inside. See, not bad. Okay off-white okay I wouldn't call it off-white to white but as you can see it's not yellow or tan as far as the interior cover so for the most part this lot that I bought from the Savannah pedigree turned out to be okay I bought many other one and they were definitely cream and tan and yellow so at least the Luke Cage books tend to be decent and that's it for lot B lot C all savannah pedigrees okay all savannah pedigrees 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 there's a grade uh range from 75 to like a 96 okay asking price for seven books 160 dollars here we go issue 13. really sharp beautiful book let me show you the interior let's just sort to prove okay you see this is slightly yellow okay definitely a little bit yellow and tan but as you can see the page quality is off-white okay it's not cream back cover okay that's a little overspray okay that's not any kind of uh, issue see that overspray so that's just a hint of the overspray back cover decent okay Let's give you another glimpse of the interior there you go see off white issue 14 normally I don't you know show the interior but I just want to show it so that people know uh, the quality of these books because you know when the term Savannah pedigree come up a lot of people say oh it's Bad page quality, see? Look. This is nicer, okay? Yeah, I say off white to white because that's white right here, right? That might be off white up there, so not bad. Beautiful book, issue 14. I give it a 9. But there you go. A little sun shadow right there. There you go. That's why I give this book a 9 because. Structure wise, I think it is at least a 9.2, if not better. But the, the sun shadow knocked it down for me. Issue 15, I gave it a 7.5. This is like the lowest grade of the bunch. This one, why is it 7.5? Let me show you. Right here. None of these books have been pressed or clean, okay? So there's like a little crease right there. I'm sure it will come off, I think. Once again, page quality, off-white, okay? 16, this book is gorgeous. I gave it a 9.6, yeah, I don't give raw books a 9.6 often, but let's take a look at the spine. You see anything? Yeah, corner, okay, that's the little rub right there, very tiny, razor sharp edge, okay, the only minor flaw is that, put the corner down there, okay, back, clean, white, Page quality inside, as you can see, off white to white, yeah, not cream. See, look, issue 17. Look nice.
nice right it look like a 9294 but let me show you why it is only a 75 right there just a little corner crunch ding okay page quality there you go off white to white issue 18 I guess it's a 92 very bright sharp for sure off white okay not yellow not sure it's slightly yellow I wouldn't say it's white white but it's not you know tan and brown and cream nice back cover yeah issue 19 and 8.5 last one for this lot beautiful page quality same thing okay it's a broken record so yes not all savannah pedigree is cream okay now you know back cover and that's it for this lot lot C there is a little blemish right there. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I have no idea. It's not. It's on the book. The cloth is still there. I don't know if that production related, but that's why it's an 8.5 only. Okay. Lot D, issue 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 43. Super high grade lot. Six books. Asking price 125 dollars. All Savannah pedigree. Okay, all issue 20 and go through it real quick. So it's sharp, really nice. You can see I'll call this poly off white, yeah, maybe even off white to white, but once again, not horrible um, page quality. My cover. 2196 this one it just gotta give this proper proper love here look at this yeah can it be 98 hmm good question right once again off white to white yeah Twenty-two borderline between nine four and nine six. Now this one has more of the bleed through, okay, of the cover. Probably the worst one of the lot, but that's why I give it a nine four slash nine six. But for those that watch my uh, CGC haul video where I show um, the Spider Woman issue one, the two copies that I submit to CGC, both of them have pretty bad uh, eight bleed through the covers, and one came back as a 9 4 and one came back as a 9 6. So it's not a big of a deal, okay? It might be a big deal as far as trying to get 9 8, but here's issue 23 another one that can be either 94 or 96 beautiful book same thing okay this one had the same pinkish bleed through for sure peak pq page quality off white to white okay that's like white and then it is off white back cover same issue slightly pink bleed through okay 24 Gave this one a 9.4. Same thing. Once again. Yeah, none of the book. None of the books uh, in this uh, run of uh, Luke Cage is cream. Luckily. 
Okay, luckily, even issue one that I'm keeping is quite nice. At worst, it's off white. I think it's off white to white. Last issue 43, super high grade. Same issue. Okay, same. Okay. I think all of these books are potentially nice enough to be 9 8, but because of the bleed through, I keep them at 9 4 slash 9 6 range. Gorgeous, stunning book. And that's it for lot D. Okay, here are the Phantom Stranger. I'm gonna keep the camera right here for a while so you can see. Issue 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Three copies of 8. 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You see the grades, the asking price, and the discount. Alright, issue 2. Pretty sharp. Let's watch an 8.5, okay? Once again, nothing has been clean or pressed. Not to my knowledge. Issue 3. That's a printer crease, okay? A couple of them, two printer crease. Issue four. Issue 5. Beautiful book. Beautiful. That's why it's a 9.4. And it's $80. Okay, that's why. Issue 7. Is between eight five and a nine. Look a lot nicer, right? <laughs> I grade these a long time ago, and I just go by what I gave these books years ago. I didn't bother to regrade them. Okay, now issue eight, three copies. The first two are nines, and then a mid-grade third copy. Okay, here we go, first copy. First copy is that binary tail right there. Second copy does not have that binary tears. Here's a low grade copy. Well, mid grade, I would say 5.5. See, there's a long crease right there. Issue 10, I gave it uh, a 7. Okay? 
it's a bunch of spine ticks okay as you can see right there and then there's a like a little crease on the bottom edge as well like a little overhang kind of crease rest of the books you can see very nice issue 12 I gave a 9-2 couple spine ticks bottom edge right edge top edge top corner sharp issue 15 9-4 Beautiful book. Look at that. Near perfect centering. Can't remember what happened here that I took off and not get the book higher grade, but it is what it is. As you can see, my cover, super beautiful, sharp. Yeah. Here is issue 16, nice purple cover, beautiful, yeah, I think it's a light crease right there, okay, that's why I gave it a 9, seemed harsh at the time, but it is what it is. Issue 17, 8.5. And here Issue 18, another beautiful book, 9.4, asking price 70, yeah, look at this book, yeah, let me show you why I only gave it a 9.4, look nicer, right, it's a bottom corner chip right there, okay, right there, okay, that's the reason, that corner. It's like a boundary tear that fell off some time ago. Last 8.5. That's why. Okay, there's like, like a little scratch right there. And then there's like a little, maybe can you see it? It's like a small tear, quarter inch tear at the spine. But that is really. The rest of the book is so nice, yeah? Yeah. It's a shame of what happened on the on the spine and on the front cover because the rest of this book super nice. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.